Uh, hello, welcome uh, to another session for the Baltic Academy. My name is Artur Zaun and I'm representing Road Transport Administration. Today, I would like to tell the story about uh, the uh, fascination of uh, transport uh, planning and scheduling. Uh, my connection with Robotica is uh, uh, quite long. Uh, I started in 2015 uh, by joining uh, Rail Baltica special purpose vehicle, RB Rail, uh, and I was among the one of the first team members. So uh, during the years uh, serving Rail Baltica joint venture, I was uh, engaged in a number of uh, uh, studies uh, and preparations of uh, uh, of uh, Rail Baltica project, uh, I participated as well in uh, uh, oper first operational uh, uh, studies and other strategic studies. Then, uh, after Rail Baltica joint venture, I joined for uh, uh, Latvian implementing body Europe Zelcelia Linias, and uh, uh, my tasks uh, were uh, starting uh, two thousand twenty one. Uh, related to setting up, uh, uh, let's say, a kind of startup uh, for uh, uh, infrastructure management uh, and developing uh, the capacity and complexity of uh, uh, of uh, uh, of the organization uh, towards uh, uh, towards operational phase. Now, I joined uh, recently, a couple of months ago, Road Transport Administration. And uh, I'm uh, interim CEO there, uh, and still I maintain a, a considerable uh, uh, connection to Rail Baltica. Uh, uh, what has common uh, road transport administration and Rail Baltica? One may ask. I will answer later in my presentation. Uh, for the ones. Uh, who would like uh, uh, to uh, uh, to ask the questions? Uh, uh, please use uh, slido.com uh, facility. Uh, please uh, do it uh, in two ways: either uh, scan uh, uh, the QR code you see uh, on the screen and uh, join uh, uh, the uh, slido conversation, or uh, just type uh, slido.com and uh, add hashtag Realbaltic Academy, and you will be. Uh, um, joining then the the place uh, uh, for uh, asking uh, the uh, the relevant questions. I will try to answer the questions uh, uh, during the course uh, of uh, uh, of uh, my storytelling, but uh, 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 as well there will be some additional time at the end uh, of my presentation uh, to discuss uh, some of uh, them uh, further or maybe deeper. Uh, if uh, uh, if you look back uh, uh, on what is Rail Baltica, uh, and perhaps uh, 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 for you as audience, this is not a new, as Rail Baltic Academy has presented already numerous uh, stories about uh, uh, Rail Baltica, but still I would like uh, 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 to uh, uh, reintroduce uh, on uh, key facts. Uh, um, Rail Baltica is uh, more than uh, more than uh, just just a railway project. Uh, I would call it uh, Rail Baltica is a huge game changer uh, towards sustainable uh, mobility and development of economic corridor among the Baltics and in connection uh, uh, with uh, Finland and uh, 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 Poland and further uh, uh, of other uh, uh, EU countries. Uh, Rail Baltica is supposed to create a, a fast connection, uh, doing it by high-speed uh, passenger services and as well uh, in terms of uh, fast uh, freight uh, services on a mixed uh, uh, railway line uh, from Tallinn uh, to uh, Lithuania and Polish border further towards uh, Poland, Warsaw and the rest of the uh, railway uh, network. Um, uh, so, uh, um, uh, we will uh, change uh, the game of uh, the mobility in the future considerably, as you may uh, uh, recall from uh, the uh, uh, proposed and planned uh, uh, timetables. Uh, uh, then, uh, uh, 
it will reduce uh, uh, the travel time by 50%, uh, meaning that, as example, if you travel nowadays uh, from Riga to Tallinn uh, and it takes uh, four, four and a half hours, either by car or bus, or a similar uh, time would take as well uh, uh, airport uh, services, uh, well, the flight itself would uh, uh, would mean uh, a travel uh, around uh, 40 minutes, uh, uh, but all, all the uh, check-ins and security controls, of course, take uh, a lot of time. So Real Baltica will make uh, the Baltic countries uh, closer together, uh, developing much more uh, economic potential and uh, looking uh, uh, for uh, uh, for uh, even more and even higher economic integration and as well providing the, I would call it, uh, gates uh, to the rest of uh, Europe in, uh, in the meaning uh, of uh, um, uh, of connecting for uh, to the uh, railway single area. Uh, some uh, common features: Rail Baltica is uh, not a standalone uh, project, uh, but fits into the uh, European uh, uh, trans uh, European transport corridor uh, core uh, core network corridor map, which is presented here, and. Uh, 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 forms, uh, let's say, the, the logical uh, connection in uh, uh, northeastern uh, Europe. In, in terms of uh, some uh, um, functional and technical features, uh, so after the completion, the infrastructure will allow trains to run uh, uh, for uh, 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 the speeds up to 250 for the passenger trains and up to 120 kilometers per hour for freight trains. As well, the infrastructure will allow uh, to uh, uh, um, to form quite long uh, uh, trains uh, in, in order up to uh, 1,050 meters, which is uh, not uh, uh, yet, uh, let's say, a common, uh, 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 common standard uh, uh, across the European Union. We are used more uh, to, uh, to the train lengths of, uh, se uh, of 750 meters, but uh, here we are using uh, uh, the opportunity of uh, having uh, Rail Baltica as uh, uh, um, as the uh, uh, greenfield uh, project and allowing uh, uh, to make uh, uh, infrastructure already fit for a very uh, long term perspective of course uh, in terms of the systems uh, uh, we uh, are aiming to implement uh, latest technologies uh, uh, like for the uh, traffic management uh, and uh, control, uh, train control systems, uh, ETCS level two uh, and FRMCS, and as well uh, go for electrification standard two by 25 uh, um, AC uh, electrification. And as well, uh, 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 we will have uh, uh, very promising axle loads and loading gauges, thus, uh, together with seven international uh, uh, and uh, three uh, uh, passenger stations and three main multimodal freight terminals, we will make a very attractive uh, offer uh, for railway, undertaking, railway undertakings and freight and logistics and uh, passenger business uh, uh, to uh, serve uh, the, all, all the connections uh, uh, either to, uh, inside the Baltics and uh, um, in Baltics in connection uh, with the rest of the uh, European Union. As well, Rail Baltica will provide important connections to airports, seaports and uh, uh, road uh, uh, transport. Um, uh, uh, again, uh, um, I mentioned already uh, that the speeds uh, then um, uh, uh, the speeds uh, are uh, actually uh, not only the 250 uh, kilometers uh, per hour limit and 120 kilometers uh, per hour limit, but as well, we set uh, 200 kilometers per hour as uh, intended speed as well for the regional trains. Rail Baltica will be not uh, uh, just uh, 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 but the international uh, connectivity provider uh, uh, on international services, but we see as well a lot of potential of making cross-border uh, uh, train services in uh, regional traffic. And for that uh, purpose, we develop as well uh, the uh, 
and the regional stations uh, um, and uh, I will uh, tell a little bit uh, more about the regional stations uh, uh, um, further on. Um, on the principles uh, we have used and I will tell as well on the uh, basis on this uh, let's say on the practical example um, how we are working uh, in uh, in Latvia uh, 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 of uh, uh, and a multimodal uh, public transport network uh, uh, planning and uh, scheduling and uh, 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 I would say that principle number one uh, which is uh, uh, not uh, uh, a coincidence uh, uh, here presented as, as the Swiss clock uh, we are strong uh, believers that uh, the, the the principles of uh, uh, of proper uh, uh, timetabling and making proper uh, service offer uh, for our citizens and inhabitants is very important and uh, here as well the uh, as the example re central uh, station in latvia and riga would be uh, the main uh, meeting uh, uh, meeting point uh, for uh, the uh, trains uh, in latvia and uh, perhaps as well across the baltics we expect uh, Riga uh, uh, becoming uh, uh, the biggest uh, hub uh, in terms of uh, uh, passenger transportation uh, uh, in Baltics as we uh, will directly interconnect here uh, the train services of uh, existing 1520 gauge uh, network uh, and uh, Rail Baltica on 1435 uh, network as well as uh, um, having here in the proximity and uh, in, uh, and as well directly in the station area uh, as well as uh, service facilities uh, uh, for uh, regional uh, uh, bus transport and as well having here uh, in the proximity uh, in the Riga station area urban public transport uh, so the development will uh, will make uh, uh, a significant hub uh, where of course synchronization of uh, all transport modes and uh, uh, their uh, um, timetables uh, becomes more and more important. Uh, a second, second principle we have applied uh, so far for the Baltica, and it was uh, I would uh, uh, would tell uh, that it was uh, the uh, first uh, 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 first time uh, in the Baltics when the integrated approach. Uh, uh, was made uh, and this was uh, done in uh, in the uh, in uh, uh, in a robotic operational plan uh, study back into the 2019 uh, where first based on the uh, demand projections at timetable as a service offer was created uh, and uh, this timetable uh, has been uh, uh, utilized uh, now for the uh, railway infrastructure uh, planning. Of course, there have been already several iterations and uh, uh, we have uh, set uh, um, here uh, by the operational plan study as well, uh, the first track layout of uh, uh, entire Rail Baltica infrastructure and as well uh, timetable since uh, the study has already experienced some changes. And uh, only then, when the timetable and uh, uh, infrastructure is synchronized, uh, then uh, and there is option to go further on for, uh, uh, let's say, looking uh, which uh, will be the proper rolling stock and, uh, uh, and then uh, uh, go to railway operation uh, phase. Uh, compared to the traditional uh, approach where we uh, draw uh, the uh, railway infrastructure and then uh, try to put the timetable of course what we again hear uh, is uh, uh, that uh, um, the infrastructure is sized uh, properly according to the demand projections and uh, we may save here uh, 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 some infrastructure and uh, we uh, may as well save some uh, uh, um, uh, some under uh, let's say let's say how uh, some under estim, uh, under under investment uh, in in the meaning that uh, 
Now, by proper uh, timetabling at the early phase, of course, we can understand how the trans uh, will be running much better and uh, uh, prepare the uh, relevant infrastructure designs uh, much more uh, precisely. This uh, uh, we experienced already as well on the example Riga Central Station. And uh, for the Riga Central Station uh, as well, several changes in the track layout both for the 1520 gauge infrastructure and as well as uh, Real Baltica uh, were introduced uh, based on, on these uh, studies and plannings. Um, here as well, I'm looking on the questions and uh, um, there is a question which, what kind of IT solutions uh, for tra train time uh, schedule composing uh, 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 do you use? So at the uh, operations study uh, time uh, uh, we have used and uh, still are using and as well uh, asking from the consultant uh, uh, if there is any consultant uh, who do, does uh, the outsourced work. Uh, um, uh, we work with the uh, RELSYS software. So RELSYS is uh, the, the tool we believe one of uh, 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 one of the most appropriate for, uh, let's say, for the exercise, uh, it has to be done in connection of creating a timetable and uh, uh, planning properly the railway infrastructure. Uh, of course, uh, uh, in the later stages, once uh, it will be uh, already in more details about the uh, the uh, rolling stock uh, planning uh, and uh, then already the rolling stock operations planning then of course another types of uh, software shall uh, uh, shall be used in uh, in the future but here as well important is uh, uh, to note that uh, um uh, uh that this this would be uh, then the responsibility area of the railway undertakings yeah and it, uh here is of course to mention that uh, Rail Baltica is an open access railway infrastructure. So it means uh, that uh, we take very much care about uh, uh, splitting uh, the responsibilities, which is uh, responsibility of delivering the infrastructure, which is uh, responsibility of managing uh, the infrastructure and responsibility of running the trains. But of course, during the planning and design stages, uh, uh, we need uh, as well understanding on how the operations will be made, which uh, uh, possible rolling stock uh, could be made, and this is uh, already then reflected uh, by by the uh, RELSYS uh, model. Um, uh, going uh, then further for uh, uh, for the principles. Uh, a long-term view. Uh, long-term view uh, it has been applied so far in uh, planning and designing Robotica so that uh, uh, very often uh, the number uh, you see here on, uh, on on the screen 2056 is the uh, time horizon for the long-term uh, planning and uh, this long-term plan is considered uh, then uh, already in different studies and as well in the design phase but uh, very likely uh, the parts uh, of the infrastructure which are necessary for that time horizon uh, will not be uh, constructed or delivered uh, right now because there is uh, some decades still to go and uh, for the first phases of operations there might uh, be uh, not necessary uh, then a full set uh, of infrastructure which is necessary for the long term. Again here uh, uh, in terms of uh, software uh, and uh, practicalities uh, for R Real Baltica, then the main software which was used here uh, uh, was the RELSYS. But for the story, I will tell uh, uh, later on as well, going already beyond uh, the uh, Real Baltica scope, uh, uh, going into the uh, harmonization of the public transport systems, meaning integration of Real Baltica into the rest of the public transport system and improving the public transport system. Of course, there are different uh, other uh, uh, tools uh, uh, will uh, be used in next uh, planning stages. Uh, I mentioned three uh, three principles. Uh, um, 
so first principle, the, uh, let's say uh, the uh, the proper timetable. Uh, we synchronize the timetables. Uh, second principle of uh, uh, demand first, timetable second, and infrastructure only then. Uh, 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 it is, uh, 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 let's say, in uh, uh, in theory, very uh, very easy to tell uh, and say that th these are the principles uh, to apply. But in the practicality, of course, it means as well a lot of uh, uh, dedicated work, a lot of uh, competencies, and a lot of uh, expert work. Um, I mentioned in. Uh, in, uh, in the beginning that uh, uh, the first studies and uh, for these studies for reference, you may grab uh, onto uh, realbaltica.org uh, website, realbaltic operational plan study and regional operation optimization study, which specifically deals uh, with the Latvian case and synchronization of uh, two networks, realbaltica and existing 1520 uh, gauge uh, networks. These studies have been uh, published, and uh, for further reading, of course, you uh, you can uh, refer to website. However, for those who are present at this session and uh, uh, not for the first time, for sure, uh, uh, as well, other my colleagues have uh, uh, have referred to these uh, studies. And so there is a lot of uh, reading, but I, I would say that. Uh, this is uh, worth uh, to mention again and again, as these uh, two form very much the background of uh, further plans uh, we are implementing in uh, different uh, work streams, including uh, beyond uh, Robotica. Uh, so these next steps are further studies, uh, as there uh, was created uh, by EU uh, Recovery uh, Resilience Fund, then uh, uh, Latvia uh, decided to go for public transport reform, and one of the studies currently ongoing is uh, setting up a, a new public transport plan for uh, Riga metropolitan area, uh, meaning uh, uh, having uh, uh, ultimately um, a synchronization of uh, um, uh, railway services, regional bus, urban uh, uh, public transport uh, services, for Rika and metro area, and as well uh, uh, further uh, area um, uh, uh, which which goes uh, on on the uh, let's say on the border with uh, um, with other uh, regions, as well uh, derived for uh, from these two studies, uh, notably Riga node operation optimization study. Uh, Latvian state, in particularly as well road transport administration as uh, holder uh, of uh, public transport authority uh, are working on uh, zero emission train uh, uh, um, uh, delivery uh, uh, plans uh, and uh, in particular for battery electric multiple units uh, uh, for serving the network as well here the Riga node operation optimization study uh, was used as uh, uh, as a background study uh, uh, for, uh, let's say, um, uh, as, as an input uh, for further uh, de details and further technical uh, studies. Um, how it works in the practicality, uh, I mentioned already that uh, it is not like just doing a study or uh, doing by one institution uh, a study, it is a uh, 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 multiple st stakeholder environment and again looking just in uh, in case of uh, Latvia it would be uh, typically uh, to create uh, uh, let's say a transport plan and then later on uh, a, a timetable or the, the schedule for multimodal transport it is not only the Ministry of Transport as uh, 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 policy authority, but as well public transport authorities, and in this uh, uh, case, ATD uh, or Ro Road Transport Administration as the authority in charge for the regional public transport, in including train services, and this means as well, including Rio Baltica, and uh, the cities which are in charge for the urban public transport, as well uh, railway infrastructure managers, in this case, uh, in Latvia, we uh, are uh, 
having here in the, in the Latvian uh, Bitin 20 gauge infrastructure manager, uh, Latvia Zosish, and as well, uh, Real Baltica uh, team as uh, uh, responsible uh, for the infrastructure management uh, uh, on uh, Real Baltica, and of course, including the special purpose vehicles, which would be the uh, um, Aero Baltica joint venture, RB Rail, and Aero Still Cellini as uh, uh, implementing uh, body. Uh, so there is uh, multiple uh, setup uh, similar, but in, in the same time as well, different uh, in other countries in Estonia and Lithuania. And uh, the fascination is uh, here uh, then uh, the ability uh, and ambition uh, for cooperation and creating. Uh, uh, common understanding on how, uh, let's say, the transport uh, 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 and mobility should look like in the future. Um, uh, here, uh, um, uh, before going for the next slide, I would like as well then to answer uh, to the question, what are the per perspectives for uh, private railway undertakings to operate on uh, Rail Baltica line? As uh, I mentioned uh, already, uh, there are, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, big uh, big possibilities and big, big opportunities, as uh, this is uh, not only my strong belief, but uh, um, this is the, uh, let's say, the background of the project uh, is that uh, the infrastructure is created as an open access infrastructure. Uh, so, having uh, then the opportunity uh, for any railway undertaking uh, to provide any uh, type of the services. But of course, uh, uh, some of the services, uh, I mean here in particular, then the regional services might not be the ones which are uh, which could be run on the commercial basis. There are uh, um, largely uh, in the regional transport uh, um, approach that uh, the, the regional transport and uh, urban transport are, uh, are the ones which are subsidized across EU. As well, in the Latvian case, I would say the current uh, public transport system uh, um, is uh, working uh, on, on the conditions when one public one euro of public money is spent uh, 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 for uh, equally uh, having then for from for from the user's perspective spending at least one uh, one euro and uh, uh, so this means that uh, as well for uh, robotica case uh, for the regional uh, transportation i personally uh, 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 would say that uh, there is a uh, 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 a very big chance uh, that uh, the regional services uh, will run under the uh, PSO modalities, so public service obligation modalities, and uh, uh, and uh, will be uh, uh, subsidized uh, from the public transport authorities. However, um, on how it will uh, be very precisely, there is yet uh, uh, a number of the studies to be done to understand the market, to understand more precisely the demand, the costs, and uh, uh, and the service service levels, and only then uh, the proper decisions uh, 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 will be made. As uh, road transport administration in capacity of public transport authority, uh, we are uh, starting uh, here as well to do the necessary steps uh, which uh, are related to uh, to create uh, um, the framework for these public transport services. Uh, um, so at least on national level, but as well, we see a lot of potential for going on uh, cross-border uh, regional uh, services and thus enabling uh, much better uh, regional integration across the regions in the Baltics. Uh, some insight in uh, uh, into the uh, uh, numbers. If uh, we look on uh, um, on the public transport system and. Uh, 
this is uh, let's say uh, this is uh, the the uh, let's say the data on uh, on the system uh, running under the PSO contracts. Um, in the past years, uh, uh, like in 2022, we had uh, around 1.3 billion passenger kilometers made by uh, trains and buses altogether. You can see here in the stats uh, quite a significant drop uh, during the COVID phase. But what we can see already in, by 2023 uh, uh, data, then uh, uh, train services are uh, recovering quite well. And uh, we, we see that uh, in the most cases, uh, uh, the services have reached already uh, uh, 2019 levels or exceeding in some lines. We have even uh, uh, even better uh, 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 even better uh, messages uh, so that uh, in some services uh, the numbers of passengers have increased uh, even by plus 20 plus up to plus 30 percent compared to the uh, respective months in 2019. So there are good news but as well uh, there are not uh, perhaps that uh, good news we see that in the regional bus transport, uh, these services are not recovering uh, that well. We still uh, lag uh, approximately 10% uh, behind uh, uh, 2019 uh, uh, data. Um, but if, uh, at least uh, in terms of the, uh, let's say, sustainable move towards uh, the train services, then we see uh, in the totality that there are good prospects uh, for the train services. And the intention, together with Real Baltica, uh, uh, is uh, as well to double the railway share in motorized mobility. But this means not on the cost of the bus transport, but on uh, on on the cost of reducing uh, the number of uh, the car drivers. Of course, this is an ambition, and ambition is not uh, an easy ambition, as uh, uh, we all understand that the car driver is very difficult client. Uh, is uh, uh, needs uh, very special attention and uh, only let's say the the directive uh, approach uh, um, by penalizing uh, um, would not uh, uh, help very much. We have to develop a proper service so that the service offer uh, fits uh, um, within the understanding of the car driver's uh, perspective and uh, we can um, uh, sell the uh, railway transport as much better and more sustainable and more comfortable and of course as well uh, uh, more uh, 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 more uh, viable uh, uh, model, uh, mode of uh, transport than just going by a car. Um, uh, and uh, uh, as well, uh, uh, having a, a little bit some some numbers on uh, on the totality of the system, uh, ATD uh, uh, is uh, um, single public transport authority. So as I mentioned, for regional network, so for buses and trains, and in future as well, including uh, for uh, Real Baltica regional trains. Um, we as public transport authority are not uh, uh, alone. There is as well a body created uh, uh, by uh, by law, uh, public transport board, which consists of representatives of government, so a ministry of transport, ministry and finance, and as well regional representatives. So this public transport uh, uh, board uh, helps us uh, uh, to coordinate and. Uh, uh, um, make uh, more uh, 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 more uh, uh, easier uh, compromises on top-down approach. So that from the national perspective towards the local, the municipal perspectives and regional perspectives, uh, that's making uh, uh, much better functioned and much more inclusive uh, 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 public transport uh, system. As uh, not everything can be overseen just by one central body. We need a lot of, uh, as well, local experience, local uh, views of uh, local situation, which helps, of course, uh, then to create the transport offer much more targeted to, to the uh, local needs. 
However, there are as well nine cities in charge of urban public transport, and these uh, cities are uh, uh, then uh, fun uh, funding uh, the, their, their urban public transport systems, like it would be Riga or, or Lipaya or uh, Valmiere by themselves. What does the state here is uh, 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 helps uh, to uh, uh, to uh, improve the mobility conditions uh, for uh, uh, some social uh, social uh, groups uh, uh, of persons uh, uh, where uh, some uh, discounts on the uh, on the tickets are uh, made so that uh, the most disadvantaged uh, so social groups uh, can as well uh, uh, can have access uh, to the mobility services in a proper level. In the totality in Latvia, the number 70.4 and 6.2 is uh, the number of uh, respectively bus kilometers and uh, uh, train kilometers uh, uh, made, so the network dimensions. Number 20% is modal share, according to Eurostat, uh, which makes the public transport. Um, it is not uh, perhaps the, uh, the best uh, value across the EU, but altogether it is as well not, uh, uh, not uh, the, the worst. However, again, in the railway transport, the green number 3.5, is the model share currently in the railway transport, and of course there is a lot of potential uh, to improve and uh, uh, and to make uh, uh, the uh, the network uh, much more uh, appropriate. Um, the question was as well: Are Riga and Tallinn's tram networks and other uh, public transport going to match their schedule with the trains, or is the service frequent enough? That's not a problem. Uh, I will uh, uh, answer as well uh, later on. A part partial answer is that in the most cases, uh, urban public transport uh, in the capital cities is uh, frequent enough uh, uh, so that there is uh, perhaps uh, a, a little effort uh, necessary. I would say that uh, much more important is uh, to synchronize uh, the regional traffic, uh, so uh, irrespectively of uh, of the mode of transfer, be it rail or be it bus, uh, um, with with rail Baltic as uh, here, then the uh, the travel times uh, uh, and the schedule will be uh, quite uh, uh, different. Um, as well, some uh, uh, some uh, 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 trends uh, what we see. Uh, um, is uh, that uh, of course there, there has been uh, a, a great uh, uh, increase of uh, consumer prices in the past years as well uh, let's say fuel increases however the fuel prices are already uh, going down or stabilizing uh, um, as well uh, as negative we see the number of inhabitants is decreasing but the wealth is increasing and uh, one of the uh, uh, next plans is uh, to respond to this uh, cost increase is as well uh, one of the part of the reforms uh, which is initiated currently uh, uh, by public transport authorities to review uh, the, uh, the ticket prices, partly to increase them, partly to simplify them, and as well in, uh, implement more uh, zoning approach uh, uh, across uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the entire network. Um, and this this would help as well uh, uh, to improve, let's say, the uh, the public uh, uh, public financing uh, status as uh, uh, public transport services during the past years have been under uh, big financial pressure by losing the passengers due the uh, due to due to pandemics and uh, those travel restrictions and so on. And now uh, we are recovering, but of course the re uh, recovery uh, does not help uh, alone. Uh, as well, the prices have been uh, increased considerably, and uh, soon uh, then uh, as well we will be needed uh, to to increase uh, uh, the uh, the price levels uh, for the tickets. The good news is uh, uh, that uh, these increases uh, uh, will change the uh, the. Ticket uh, uh, 
ticket uh, policy uh, in the meaning that uh, uh, there, there will be some more, I would call them loyalty uh, programs so that those who travel a lot with the public transport will get uh, uh, much better discounts than this is nowadays in Latvia. So we will be encouraging uh, uh, the uh, uh, frequent users for using even more and going for more, uh, let's say, kind of flat rate uh, uh, conditions. Uh, um, um, there might be as well the question, uh, do, do we plan to implement similar uh, principle of uh, having uh, 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 then uh, 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 49 euro ticket as it is in Germany for time being uh, no but I would say that the first step uh, will be that uh, um, with with this uh, uh, ticket reform which is starting this year and continuing over the next year we will be able to offer for our public transport system users in Latvia uh, uh, and then a much uh, fairer much uh, much better conditions for uh, frequent travel. And now um, I would want it uh, as well then uh, with uh, some sketches answer uh, uh, and uh, and present some thoughts uh, on how the future uh, of integrated uh, transport uh, may look like. Now, one of the questions was uh, which software do we use uh, for the transport uh, planning? Of course, you can derive that uh, um, uh, as, as of this uh, uh, presentation, this is of course as well GIS tools, GIS information in different uh, layers and means, as well uh, the um, let's say public transport uh, contract management system delivers a lot of data uh, which helps uh, uh, to overview uh, the mm, uh, the uh, um, the performance the uh, uh, of of the system the uh, uh, the routes uh, the network uh, uh, the finance the passenger numbers etc. This helps of course uh, as uh, uh, with a contract management software uh, which uh, uh, has as well links with GIS tools. Mm, but uh, um, here as well then um, for the future. As public transport authority, uh, in this case, uh, uh, in charge for Latvian regional public transport, we are uh, planning as well uh, to improve and go for more digitalization as the current systems are uh, quite uh, uh, quite uh, uh, already quite a lot, uh, quite a long time in uh, into operation. And uh, we have to uh, step uh, away forward towards uh, digitalization and perhaps as well using some uh, big data, which is not uh, done yet. But uh, here on the sketch, let's say I wanted to zoom in uh, uh, into uh, one of the regions, so north uh, uh, northeastern region Vizeme in, in in Latvia. We started just a couple of, of days ago, uh, let's say, first discussions with the municipalities on Route Network 2.0, meaning that 10 years ago, uh, the uh, the first uh, network uh, was created, uh, uh, and this was created then uh, from the patchwork of around uh, uh, 40 uh, standalone networks, urban and uh, uh, say municipal uh, uh, level uh, networks, uh, uh, there was a creation then of one integrated network having, of course, uh, uh, several layers. Uh, like, uh, basically, we can uh, uh, say that there are three segments, uh, inter, uh, uh, intercity, which connects uh, the capital city with the big, uh, big cities in Latvia, or uh, the big cities between them, then uh, Interurban, uh, which would mean that uh, uh, let's say main regional development centers uh, are uh, uh, connecting between themselves, and the third third layer is of course local, which is uh, regional uh, for the rural areas and urban uh, transport uh, for the uh, city areas. And uh, um, again. The uh, synchronization uh, of the timetables and creation uh, creation of uh, one synchronized uh, strategic timetable is uh, a very uh, um, very big ambition. 
uh, for uh, for the tasks we have now on the uh, agenda. And this is uh, as well an example how uh, in pra practicality we are using uh, the studies done by Real Baltica, notably the node operations optimization study, um, which is the main input to basically to create then uh, a service offer around uh, uh, around the railway network uh, uh, for the entire country. And uh, then, of course, uh, we need as well to uh, uh, to uh, connect uh, the bus services. And here in the examples, we have uh, then at least uh, for the discussion in Vizeme region, three further synchronization points, uh, which are uh, more or less uh, at the uh, 60 minute. Uh, so there is one hour travel time, Riga to Cesis, and uh, at the uh, uh, 30 minutes or so 90 minute travel time uh, from uh, uh, Valmira to uh, Riga and as well on Real Baltica, uh, Skultis Moesia uh, stop uh, would mean there is uh, travel time around 45 minutes uh, uh, and there will, would be then you know, uh, synchronization possibility at uh, minute 45 uh, for the uh, um, for the network. Uh, meaning as well the existing uh, synchronization uh, with the existing railway and synchronization with uh, all uh, all level bus uh, transport so that we uh, we get uh, a really really integrated uh, 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 integrated uh, network and uh, uh, and integrated uh, timetable um, as to the service offer um, if you would look uh, would like to look into the uh, service offer how currently the trains are running on the 1520 gauge network uh, you would discover that there is almost tuck far plan but not uh, not really and uh, not uh, especially uh, this is not really well uh, implemented in the regional traffic if we look for the suburban network uh, uh, so it mean the capital city of riga and its suburbs uh, and uh, let's say closest uh, rural territories, uh, which would make distance 30, 50, uh, uh, up to 60, 70 kilometers from the city center of the uh, capital city Riga, then uh, uh, there is uh, already a kind of uh, a regular interval uh, uh, timetable in place. Uh, it was uh, implemented based on uh, Riga node operations optimization study recommendations. However, due to the construction constraints in Riga Central Station, of course, not a full scale of uh, timetable uh, uh, has been implemented as well. Uh, yet to come is uh, as well new uh, new trends for the operation, uh, which is envisaged uh, uh, in uh, the um, upcoming months, so that uh, uh, more trains and uh, more comfortable new trains will, of course, as well enable much better services. But uh, uh, looking then for the regional perspective, um, I would say that uh, what we look and what we discuss with the municipalities is uh, uh, having at least uh, uh, be hourly uh, traffic uh, in the connection uh, and in uh, as well in long term uh, with uh, uh, let's say speed increases so that we can uh, manage that uh, uh, um, trains are uh, uh, are. Uh, uh, considerably faster than the bus services, so that uh, uh, this this makes easier as well shift uh, from uh, bus services in longer distance services, also in the intercity services towards, uh, 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 let's say, preference for changing to trains. Um, so and uh, in peak hours we would would see that uh, in the, for the most uh, let's say directions then uh, an hourly service uh, would be some uh, something which is feasible in terms of economics and uh, uh, level of the subsidy uh, being paid uh, by the state uh, for uh, public transport system. In the suburban areas, uh, uh, yeah, more, uh, 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 more there will be on all the corridors the principle of having uh, 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 suburban trains every 30 minutes and in the off peak time, uh, maybe, or uh, let's say early morning uh, and very late night uh, uh, hours, uh, rather 60 minute service. 
Uh, and then what is important uh, uh, for the timetabling purposes in Riga area, uh, having, uh, uh, let's say, a 15 minute interval so that uh, all uh, all stops uh, in capital city are served with 15 minutes uh, frequency. So it would uh, give encouraging uh, competitive advantage uh, to use the train instead of the cars as well for the uh, city travel. Uh, so uh, that uh, um, as well, the uh, suburban public transport might be used for inner, uh, uh, inner city uh, um, the mobility needs, of course, in connection with the current uh, public transport. Um, uh, another uh, aspect would be as well the, the combination of uh, uh, um, uh, of uh, uh, trains and, uh, uh, and train and bus services. Uh, here I wanted to point out uh, the, the lines uh, we, uh, we have here in this picture, in this sketch. Um, we already discovered that uh, uh, in many cases, uh, by uh, increasing a little bit, uh, let's say, uh, uh, speeds and increasing uh, the operation uh, mm, mm, operational speeds uh, for the trains without uh, uh, big intervention into the railway infrastructure, by changing the trains from the old ones uh, to the new ones and more sustainable, more zero emission trains, there, there are there is a, a, a considerable potential for uh, let's say faster travel times uh, uh, from uh, from region to the capital city and vice versa and between the regional cities and this means that even uh, today if we look uh, for some uh, smaller uh, uh, towns or uh, or villages yeah, then uh, the a uh, combination of uh, travel, for example, here from in north from Steitzel or Maslaza or Ruyena uh, to Riga uh, uh, with uh, one interchange in Valmiera, uh, if uh, properly managed uh, with proper uh, uh, interchange times, uh, we can uh, even gain in, in nowadays uh, some 10 to 15 minutes uh, compared to the current. Uh, uh, uh bus schedule and uh, as well uh, have uh, uh, much more reliable traffic as uh, um, uh, around uh, Riga region there are many traffic jams which are of course influencing bus traffic but not influencing the train traffic and in some directions like for example uh, here in very uh, our northeast, uh, uh, we could reduce uh, with one uh, one interchange as well the travel times even by uh, thirty or forty, even forty minutes. Uh, uh, um, as uh, here, uh, uh, the the bus uh, travel times are quite uh, quite long, uh, um, and uh, the buses have to uh, have uh, uh, longer uh, stops uh, due to the driver. Uh, times and rest times uh, needs so that uh, again here uh, um, through intermodality may help a lot. Uh, so this was uh, uh, my story uh, on uh, um, on how uh, we are uh, working uh, uh, beyond Real Baltic, how we are integrating uh, the, uh, um, the different uh, uh, transport systems and creating much better uh, perspective uh, um, for uh, uh, for our citizens in the future uh, and having long-term approach and uh, of course uh, setting up uh, as uh, small steps already uh, let's say in very near future so that uh, the user the passenger the citizen can get uh, uh, the benefit uh, from the improving uh, transportation system in the Baltics already uh, uh, today, tomorrow, and uh, uh, every subsequent uh, uh, year. Uh, um, and once the Real Baltica uh, will be in place, of course, better and more integrated transport system will welcome services on Real Baltica and thus uh, have another important uh, development uh, 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 um, as uh, we, uh, of course, uh, um, can uh, we expect that, uh, uh, of course, the Baltica will bring a lot of uh, um, potential for existing public transport system 
to supply uh, with the passengers robotica uh, railway system and vice versa and uh, this will uh, have uh, a significant effect so a good public transport system uh, which is uh, created in a proper way uh, is essential enabler of uh, good and well functioning rail baltica and the travel times which are uh, presented uh, on the uh, rail baltica uh, infrastructure are uh, uh, very competitive and if we make uh, uh, as well the rest of the public transport system in the country competitive enough so we can uh, uh, expect much more uh, car drivers uh, uh, shifting from uh, driving a car uh, to a public transport, notably railways. So this was, uh, uh, um, let's say, the story. Uh, um, thank you. And now I will answer some of your uh, questions. So... Martinez is asking, uh, hello, how the Rail Baltica traffic control centers are planned? Will they be integrated into already existing uh, train control centers or will be uh, new centers? This is uh, currently uh, the uh, topic uh, uh, under the discussion uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on the uh, uh, different formats. Uh, in uh, Rail Baltica uh, family, and uh, I, I, I wouldn't be the person who could answer very, very precisely on the uh, status uh, uh, on how these control centers, uh, what is the concept uh, uh, for now, but uh, anyhow, uh, we have here the principle of uh, that uh, uh, traffic control has to be uh, made so that uh, neither from the railway undertaking's perspective nor the, from the uh, passenger uh, uh, perspective there is some disturbance or uh, some uh, uh, disadvantage of the systems uh, and uh, that there might be let's say that there are on uh, on the table on the discussion uh, many uh, many options for having just one single control center uh, or having uh, uh, three decentralized control centers or uh, even integrated in the existing railway centers. Every of these options has uh, some pros and uh, cons and uh, uh, more likely that uh, um, the, uh, the, the system uh, which will be decided uh, will be somewhere in, in between between these extremes I, uh, I mentioned as there is uh, a lot of, uh, of practicalities uh, uh, on uh, how to decide. Anyhow, Robotica, from uh, from its uh, functional perspective, is just one rail railway system, which is running across three uh, three countries, and this means that, uh, of course, uh, uh, it makes difficult uh, uh, um, to arrange a proper uh, control center concept. As well, the language has to be considered and. Uh, uh, the true uh, uh, and I can just uh, uh, say as well for the one uh, person who asked the question about the uh, communication language of uh, train drivers and uh, with train drivers, then uh, uh, this is uh, uh, what uh, uh, has uh, been so far agreed that uh, the communication language will be uh, English as we cannot. Uh, 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 I cannot afford that uh, there are three train drivers uh, across the country on the high-speed train, which is running uh, for around, uh, let's say, uh, a bit more than one hour uh, in uh, each uh, uh, country. Uh, but of course, uh, there is an issue if uh, the communication shall be with the uh, rescue services and uh, some other state services uh, in each country. Of course, the national language is uh, and then the main uh, for uh, some emergency uh, communication. So there is, of course, a lot of uh, uh, work to be done uh, uh, to establish proper processes, proper procedures, uh, ultimately with the purpose that uh, the railway traffic is safe and, uh, uh, and as well um, is uh, uh, easy to operate. Um, 
Yeah, then uh, the last question uh, I would like to answer, how the operator will be selected for the subsidized passenger services. So, uh, um, first of all, um, there is, uh, uh, let's say, quite an easy uh, answer. There should be a competition, and uh, uh, this uh, competition is already uh, defined by uh, EU law and as well uh, by the uh, public procurement law. So in case of, uh, of Latvia, uh, how we see this uh, issue is that, uh, um, first of all, we have uh, to make, of course, some uh, mandatory studies uh, to determine what is the market, what is the interest of the railway undertakings. This is uh, on the agenda in upcoming years. And uh, and only then uh, to decide uh, uh, on uh, how to procure the services. Another dimension for uh, uh, these uh, subsidized passenger services, or let's say PSO obligation, is of course as well uh, the issue of the rolling stock. This is as well yet to decide on how the rolling stock uh, provision uh, uh, will be uh, uh, organized. On the table, there are uh, several options uh, on how to do uh, um, and uh, uh, let's say th these options are uh, um, of course uh, then uh, numerous in terms of um, shall it be done on national or uh, let's say on, on Baltic level shall it be uh, uh, done uh, let's say by public uh, 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 transport authorities or similar entities creating some rolling stock company or can it be uh, led to the market alone uh, so there are multiple options still uh, on uh, on the agenda but one that I would uh, like uh, to stress is that of course uh, there uh, shall be a competitive award for these public service uh, uh, public uh, services uh, so that uh, as well the state and the passengers uh, get uh, then the best uh, uh, best offer best proposal uh, for uh, uh, the mobility services on the Baltica regional uh, service uh, network so this was uh, i think uh, um, and then uh, uh, all about the questions we had uh, thank you uh, for the attention, and uh, I hope you to meet uh, in Real Baltica trains and before Real Baltica starts operation. Uh, um, let's uh, use more public transport system. Let's encourage uh, um, our families to shift from car transport uh, to uh, public transport, and uh, thus uh, making our lives more sustainable. Thank you for attention. Bye bye. Thank you.